everyone for the after chat here at Legends of the Ring in Monroe, New Jersey. Cranberry, New Jersey. Bill After with the fabulous ones. Steve Kern, Stan Lane, and you're still, I'm, I have a cookie in my mouth. Yeah, I this that. is very unprofessional. I, I can smell it. It's a uh, chocolate chip, I believe. You're, you, this, you're in New Jersey. It's chocolate. Chocolate it's chip. Chocolate hey, forget chip. about it. Uh, yeah, you, you did. So you are still alive again. Yeah, we're still alive. You know, what, what's so great about, see, for years and years, uh, Steve and I never did these things together. Uh, I was with Bobby doing the Midnight Express stuff. Bobby but, Eaton, we're talking about. Yeah, and he's, he's next door to us. But Steve and I have, have done a few of these now, and it's just wonderful. We did a, a nice uh, two-plus-hour two, two plus hour, uh, interview last night uh, together, going over some great Fabulous One stories. But it's great to have Steve come back. And the Fabulous Ones were an innovative uh, tag team back, back in the 80s. And uh, oh, man. A, a lot of teams uh, copied us. And uh, it's something that, that we're proud of. And it's, you know, once again, having Steve here is just it's a perfect, perfect weekend. Well, now I remember, Steve, when I first got into the business, but more so, I was in the when early 70s. Tried, yeah. Abe Lincoln used to speak so highly about you. But, <laughs> but no, I remember in the mid 70s when well, I really first started. Out to <laughs> what are you? When I first started going down to Florida, you were one of the first people I met when you were teaming with uh, Mike Graham and you held the Florida tag team belts. That's right. I mean, I've had a lot of tag team partners in my career, so Mike Graham was one of my first. Yeah. Yes. Do you have a favorite tag team partner? Yes, yeah, Dan Lane. Okay, I was I was hoping he was <laughs> he was going to say that. So tell everybody what uh, you're doing. And by the way, a lot of people don't realize that you were a doink for a while. I was? Weren't you? <laughs> no. k <Cafe. laughs> no, no, I was. <laughs> I know. What was that like, by the way? It was because horrible. It, because, because right back then, you know, that was becoming, that was, wrestling was becoming sports entertainment. So it was, uh... This guy was right here was an easy guy Skinner, to put makeup yes. on. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of tag team partners, I've, I've got three of mine here right behind you. In the Heavenly Bodies, Tom Pritchard's oh, yeah, here, Tom Pritchard. Bobby wow. Eaton's here, Steve Kern's here. The only one who's not here is Brian St. John. Yeah. And I've, I've never seen Brian do any of, the, of these uh, shows before. I, I think he lives in Albuquerque, but the only one of my partners who's not here is Brian St. John. Wait, wait, wait. If you say Albuquerque, that's he's not really there because when we did the magazines, if a title change took place and it didn't really happen, where was it? Albuquerque. 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 Mystery Mountain. Mystery Mountain. So tell us what you're doing these days. I'm retired. Are you enjoying it? I'm loving it. Are you? I got four grandkids. I live in Florida where I grew up. I'm living on the water. I'm living a dream. I mean, you know, I would have thought that retirement would be boring, but it's exciting. You know, I can do what I want to. No bosses. I don't have to worry what I say or what I do. No long road trips that you don't want to go on? Go to 7-Eleven every once in a while, maybe to Publix. But that's about as far as I go. Ah, Publix. So now when you two were the fabulous ones, this, of course... You want to talk to me more because I said Publix? No, no. I'm no I, I don't, didn't, want, didn't want him to feel left out, but... Come on back in. But no, no. Now, the Fabulous Ones, of course, started out as the idea, if I remember correctly, as uh, Fabulous Jackie Fargo, correct? Right. Yeah, we were the, we were the first uh, tag team uh, to do to tie in uh, the wrestling with the uh, MTV, Music TV, that was yeah. just arriving on the scene in the early 80s. And it, 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 we don't take credit for it. Jerry Jarrett uh, did that, but it, but we did all, all the, the, uh, in, the uh, not the interviews, the videos, uh, the MTV style, the, you know, and the cars and the girls and stuff, and it just really caught on. It snowballed as a huge effect, and it really it started a whole new dynamic, a whole new dimension for tag team wrestling. Uh, what about... Uh, uh, we're going back again to the doing things and all that. So no, no. So when it became not wrestling, sports entertainment, did you kind of lose your taste for the business at that point? No. And okay. No, and I'll tell you why. It's because I'd been working in Tennessee, and when you work in Tennessee, oh, you're into sports Frank entertainment. Frankenstein and the Wolfman. Absolutely, eat a can of dog food yeah. if you lose. Yes. All kinds of stuff. So I learned a lot about entertainment. Sequin tuxedos, bow ties, striped. Right, right. Top all, hats. Of, all of that was just a step, a stepping stone headed into entertainment. So we did a cover one time, and I believe it was Fabulous Ones against the Fantastics. So 
So do you remember that? It was well, fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. Bobby Fulton and Tommy Rogers oh, back okay. then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, they were great workers. You know, they say that imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, and we were the fabulous ones were one of the most uh, copied tag teams in, in the history of the sport. The the Fantastics were originally called the Fantastic Ones, which is a direct. Right. They, they wore the right. set, the same outfits, but but we didn't mind. We were actually flattered by that. And you know, Bobby and, and Tommy were both uh, great workers. And, and as a matter of fact, Bobby and I in the Midnight Express had some. He super is sitting matches. there, by the way. Yeah. See, Bobby Bobby, yes. We had, we had some great matches with the Fantastics, so yeah, kudos to them as well. Yeah, I remember that. Some of, you had some of the most violent ones were down in uh, Bill Watts' territory, if I remember correctly. We didn't go out there. We worked against the Guerreros down there in Bill yes, Watts' yes, territory, okay. so okay. we didn't work against the Fantastics back in those days. So where can people... F we're getting the wrap-up, son. So I'm good. We're doing up. that. We're, uh, yo, 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 we're going to wrap right now. No, so where can people find you on social media? Uh, they can. I'm, I'm completely hard to find. My, my wife does Facebook, but I'm not... I don't do that kind of stuff. I'm old school. Call me. Are you old school or are you on uh, social media? I'm old school. Okay. I don't want to gossip. I don't have anything to say. Yeah, I like that. I, I mean, like you know, that. I don't want to talk to anybody on Facebook or social media or Twitter or whatever. I'm satisfied with the old style, picking up the phone and calling you and talking one-on-one. -on -one. Or they can find you at Publix. Or they can find me at Publix or 7-Eleven. As a matter of fact, I was sitting in the airport yesterday, and I looked around, and I swear to God, 99.9% .9 of everybody in that damn airport were sitting there doing this crap. You know, yeah, no yeah. one's talking to anybody anymore. You live in New York. There's no more newspapers on the cell way everybody's texting anyway if I could impose on you two to point out to the camera like we used to with the poses I used to do with you we'll after with the fabulous ones we'll see you at the matches